This episode of Legendary is brought to you by Audible for a free 30-day trial and to receive a free audiobook. Just head on over to audible.com slash gamebreaker. Gamebreaker TV. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Legendary, episode 158 for January 30th, 2014. I'm Gary Gannon coming up on tonight's show. We got patch 5.4.7 PTR to talk about. Uh, the Mountain Pet for the Digital CE are revealed, and the uh, Battle.net desktop app finally gets all kinds of chatty, all that and more. But first, from Convert to Raid, Mr. Pat Crane, how are you, sir? Good. How are you doing, man? Ah, oh, fantastic. It's Thursday night. It's a pack full of night of shows. I know, it really is. I'm ready to get rocking here. Let's and do this thing. Let's do it. Joining us as always, Mr. Mike Shaffnin. How are you, sir? Good. Doing good. Oh, really? That was, a, that was like a, that was like a <laughs> yeah. solid two. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> hey, well, I, I, I don't know. Do it. I, I, I'm so, like, the, the, that question always gets asked in such, like, a way. It's like, do I, do I always, I gotta have, I gotta have something on hand. Oh, wait, here, here we go, here we go. Do, doing good, Gary, I'm doing good. Some water. I I don't know. I don't have a beer with me. I, I don't. I got nothing. A tiny, tiny beer. That's what you need. Tiny, chef. tiny beer. That's your thing. That's your thing, man. Tiny Sit again. beers. I'm just gonna let that go. It's a solid two. I'm good. You're at a, at a ten. You're you're a solid two tonight. I'm done. <laughs> Sitting in for Olivia D. Grace, Mr. Mike Byrne. How are you, sir? Well, I'm fine. I'm not even gonna ask you. <laughs> <laughs> just everybody's just like so just low key okay. tonight it's like oh is it thursday okay. fuck i gotta do this show We're again good. oh my god right right i gotta hang out with uh, these jerks and talk about video games yeah yeah i get oh. the im yeah, olivia's out you want to do legendary i'm like legendary <laughs> what legendary what? shit yeah I, I what i got what an hour and a half all right let me resub to this stuff and see what's going on <laughs> I love that. I love that. You got a chance. You got a chance to try everything out in that last hour. Right, though, yeah, right? I did. I like two hours ago. Gary's like, "Hey, Olivia's out. There's a free seat if you want to do legendary." And I'm like, "Shit, legendary's the big time, right? You know, there's all the game breaker shows, but then there's legendary. I'm like, I gotta do legendary. Let me resub and find out what's going on. Hang on, on. let me play for a minute. Months. Click. I got a level ninety. Click. I'm done. <laughs> right. Done. Of course, that's only on the PTR. Uh, it is your first time on the Legendary? It's gonna be fun. It is. It is. I'm I think. I think. Uh, I think Miss Olivia D. Grace is on a jet plane, partying it up. With Zarhan. Yeah, she's on. She's on the private jet. She's on the one private with jet. you know the yeah exactly with the with the dance club in the back or whatever whatever the hell it is. I don't know. And that's classy. No. Drinking Cristal, hanging out. <laughs> yeah. with that's I it. Think, I, I think Maidern from Tool is there. She's on a G6, man. She's got a G6 going. She'll yeah. be back next week. <laughs> First up, guys. Uh, big news. We're nominated for a, no, an award. Kind of like a co-award here. Game Breaker TV. That's right. The, the Blizzard Stream Awards. Where did this come from? I don't this? know. Where did this came out of nowhere? I don't nowhere? know. Kind of came out of nowhere. Hey, guys. Yeah. It, kind of, it kind of leaked a little earlier that I was going to be doing the show today. Oh. And, and Mike Blizz Bird. thought, you know, we should probably celebrate that. Congratulations. You guys are awesome. I love watching you. So we are well uh, deserved. We're nominated for a Blizzard Stream Award in conjunction with Twitch. Uh it's not mm -hmm. only legendary. Really, we probably wouldn't be on this list if it wasn't for Convert the Raid. Convert probably. The probably not. I it's, really doubt it. It's it's probably just it's probably just Coltrane, actually. Probably That's the entire reason that That's it. He's got a whole category. We're both shows. We're both shows. <laughs> so we are up right. for Best community channel of 2013. Um, we'll put the link in the show notes here. URL is kind of funky. Christ, 
Battle.net. Blizzard, couldn't you have at least given us like an easy URL to give to people? Really? Right. Couldn't you have like made... Right. Stream Awards! Blizzard US dot <laughs> battle dot net stream. It's not. It's like freaking no. EN form topic one nine blah 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 eight thousand numbers. I can't tell you and nobody's gonna find it. Thanks a lot, Blizzard. We'll put it in the uh we'll put it in the uh, show notes there. So you guys can go uh, and we'll tweet it out. Let's try and get rally the right. troops behind this. We're not gonna win. It's well, it's just kind of cool. I mean, considering you got the, day nine the list. on here. I mean, come on. I know. I know. Well, I mean, there's a lot of really excellent streamers there, and and uh, I feel really, uh, actually, I'm I'm kind of overwhelmed that we were even nominated. You know, looking at that list, I'm like, well, I'm just a schlub. What do I know? You know, it's great. <laughs> it's great. I think that's the thing. Is it's, it's it, it, even if we don't win, it's it's flattering to be in that company. Right. And it is cool that Legendary and Convert to Raid are, are kind of nominated together. That's awesome. one in the same. I love that. We got a one up on, on all of them. We got two shows going into our vote. So we two got shows, one tick box. Legendary. Which is That's why right. we should win. So we got to get everybody That's behind right. this. We got to get the legendary and the convert to raid peeps behind this. I think if we rally the troops, we could actually we could actually pull this off. This would be kind of fun. Pulling all do Game Breaker Nation. Let's it's, do it. Let's, we've got a, we've got a we've got an uphill battle on this one though. That's for sure. Really? Why? Who's going to beat us? V9. Like anybody else on the list? I don't know. I disagree with you. I think, I think I don't it's going to beat I think I think it's I think, I think we're in the wrong. Everybody run. else is on so the list. Optimistic. Who's going to beat? Everybody else? How many are on the list? I just gonna, There's no nobody's going to beat. Who, us. Who, who is who, who's that who's that who's that guy who streams randomly on Friday nights? He'll probably beat us. <laughs> he totally no, did no. already. He's got 4000 <laughs> votes. So what the that. hell? Who's gonna be oh, I didn't even know. Oh, wait, I look at, oh, let me look at the. Oh, so yeah, let me look at the. Uh, oh yeah, we're kind of losing. Yeah, we don't have. Uh, oh. We don't have any votes. We're in third. Oh. So, we need some votes. <laughs> I guess we need votes. Sure. I'm kind of bummed. I'm not gonna call Blizzard out, but I'm gonna call Blizzard out. I'm kind of bummed. Tally's not on here. Guy streams. Yeah, I heard the. Like, Mike, is he is he not on the uh, the streamer one? Oh, because that was a different kind of show. There, there was. There, there I don't think streamer. Or no. No, no I don't think it was streamer? a static word. No, I, 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 there was a list of streamers, and I didn't see him on there. So I'm not, oh, I'm not I guess sure he's not. He's... I guess he's not. Well, are all these, like, shows, though? Not really. I guess they more are, right? No. Well, State of the really. Game. Does State of the Game still happen? Is that even, is that even a thing anymore? Can there are a couple Starcraft? that are. There are a couple where it doesn't necessarily make sense. But this is about what happened in 2013, yeah, not about what's happening up. currently. We got, this, so. we got this locked up. Yep. Locked up. That's Locked it. Up. Lock it up. <laughs> Three minutes ago, he's like, pick a bastard on that list. They're going to beat us. Now he's like, we got this on lockdown. I, this yeah, is no. ours. Lock it up. You lock it up. No, I'm, you lock I'm it up. being sarcastic. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's going to be it's gonna be a pretty big, good competition. So, yeah, day nine's winning. Yeah. Oh, no, he's not. I don't even know who this person is. Sorry. Don't know who that person is. Don't know who the winner is. That's how much I know. Who is that person? Right. Can't read it. It's StarCraft and Hearthstone. It I don't know. It's a Chan Chanman, Chanman 5, climbing the ladder oh, in, yeah. in Valve Town. I don't know. I don't want to follow StarCraft that much, so no disrespect. Yeah, he's big in Hearthstone right now. It's obviously yeah, a kick-ass show. with a lot of shows, too. It's not just those yeah. two. Yeah. Well, that's what they're up for. We need to win. Let's win this. Last time I rallied the troops to win a contest, though, like they shut the contest down and told me it was rigged. It was like a Star Wars <laughs> one, and it caused like all this controversy, and they were like, you guys fixed it. You guys told people to vote. I'm like, how is that fucking fixing it? We told our fans to vote. <laughs> they blew every. They 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 came to our aid and they blew everybody out of the water. And now it's not a contest anymore. What are you kidding me? That was ridiculous. Right. You guys remember that? That was retarded. But yes, uh, in good company. In good company. So definitely uh, yeah, honored to be nominated for, sure. for one of the best uh, community channels in 2013. So this would be neat. Even if we don't win, it's still it's still pretty cool. I'm glad to see Blizzard's kind of behind this. Man, when did Blizzard yeah. made a turnaround in the past year? Talking to like community, the, huh? I, I think the last couple of years, really. I mean, they've been they've been a lot more community focused, and I and I think that that's a good thing for them, especially as you know, WoW ages even more. Another couple of years, it's it's uh, you know, you want to be able to to celebrate the community, celebrate what you've done, and and this is just one more way to kind of acknowledge some of those guys that that keep these players playing. Um, so. It's cool. I'm uh, I'm gonna start spamming Twitch chat now. 
So that's bad. That'd be my job for the show. So there you go, Twitch chat. <laughs> that is the URL that, that I cannot is, tell you. And you can, you can I think, I think is, you might be able to catch it. It's going by pretty quick, but I think you can probably click on one of those. That is some serious spam, Gary. So do your duty. Man, where's that slow mode? Where are our me. moderators? Somebody needs to Seriously, ban that dude. Seriously, right. ban that dick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about some actual news. Um, when is this up? Sure. How long? How long? Wait, what, what is it? Oh, it ends February fifth. So we actually don't have a ton of time. Uh, right. Will we have another legendary? What's next week? What's next week? We won't. No. Wait. No. Wow. So, this is our, so we've only got legendary and convert to raid. So basically, yep. I'm going to talk about this for about the next forty five minutes while I hit. By this Command time v. next week, you will you will be holding your award. On right. the show. Is there an award to begin? Oh, it's money. You actually wouldn't. There's, there, it's is money. there is money. There is actual money to be had here. It's kind of weird. So, yeah, it's Usually, a it's a little weird, but it's not it's not like it's a ton of money. I mean, considering that I, I think oh, it's forty five. It. $45,000 split over... It was $45 million. You can get a Bugatti. Oh, $45 million. Oh, well, yeah. then, everybody, everybody, please vote. I got to buy several more, you know, like, <laughs> I got to go around town and spread <laughs> spread out these votes a little bit. Seriously, go ahead uh, and give me that link one more time if it's $45 oh, million. <laughs> hold on. I'll no, give you that link. It's one... It's, yeah, here it comes. It's forty five k, I think, over, what was it, 11 categories? Something along those lines? More hand um, found some and, pocket change in his and couch. And it's nice. Don't get don't get me wrong. It's nice. It's really oh, nice. Oh yeah, no, no, it's great. Um, it's great. But I mean, it's not like it's you know fifty fifty grand or something like that, or a hundred million dollars. Why are you so cheap, Blizzard? You could throw around a couple hundred k. What's up? <laughs> Seriously. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they do something nice, and then you then this is right? how you repay them. <laughs> I'm right. just saying. I know they get paid really well. Yeah, over there. Last, time, so last, time was, nice. last time I was hanging out with Zaraheim, he had like a nine thousand dollar Rolex on and like a Armani suit. And he was like, "Oh, I'm rolling." There's just, just money falling out of his pockets as he walked over. Actually, yeah, just, it was just, just blowing just, in the wind. It was like rose Wait. petals behind him. Just hundred dollar bills. <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah, and it's like way to turn around. They're doing really good things, cheap bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Don't point uh, out my my tricks. Right. <laughs> I'll turn on you. Do the same thing to you, Burn. <laughs> Read my emails pre-show. Not there cool. you go. All right, are we gonna talk about uh, World of Warcraft? Sure. Let's All right. Do it. So first up. First up, there's this thing called the Streamy Awards. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a link in chat. Yes, there's the link. There's oh, 47 man. links in chat. All right, right actual now. news. Actual news. Actual news. Actual news. All right, yeah, first up yeah. this week. Patch 5.4.7, uh, PTR has launched. A uh, ton of stuff has been data mined already, including a new pet uh, and a new mount. We got to look at one last week, but now we're actually getting an ad um, that we can skip very soon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's coming yes. right for us. So yeah. the Dread Raven, which we last week we only had a, uh, a picture of, we now have some video of it. It looks badass. Yeah, and Mad it does that little bad. wing thing right there. I don't it's know what it's, it's like preening like itself. It's preening itself. It's beautiful. I we don't know, know where I, these I are coming still... from, right? These are the Warlords Collector's Edition. This is this is the Collector's yeah. Edition mount right here, right? Right. Oh, yeah. Right. I still don't like it, Gary. I'm still going to be a whiner because I I went through Sethic Halls how many times for my damn mount that doesn't fly? <laughs> I am now... right. And now it flies, and you just you can just buy it. Great, thanks. Please. Great, great, Johnny come lately. <laughs> That's right. He looks a little scruffy though. He might have to go to the vet. He's got some bad hygiene or something going on. His like feathers are all kinds bird of... flu. Yeah, well, that's why he was preening them. He was preening them. He's he's got the avian flu. Avian flu bird. <laughs> Guys, don't get near it. Wear a mask. Always. We also got uh, to check out uh, the ad before ad. the hatchling pet. Yeah, the hatchling pet. <laughs> the mm -hmm. dread hatchling pet. Look at the little cutie toucan. This thing, this is this is one of those things where now, see, Pat, your your time won't be wasted because it's like a, it's a whole set thing. 
You're going to have True. to get the little pet. And now, because it won't be the full set if you don't have the pet, the flying mount, and the ground mount. So at least you got it out of the way. This thing looks adorable. I'm not going to lie. I like adorbs. this thing. I don't know why. Adorbs. <laughs> Totes adorbs. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I say adorable, but suddenly now it's become totes adorbs. That's it right. Goes your, it goes with your tiny beer. <laughs> uh, Mike can't can't say anything without getting the tiny beer thrown thrown back at him. I need Coltrane to sing it to me. Tiny beers. <laughs> he did sing it that one time. Um, everybody buying these or what? You guys buying these? Pat's not. He's just angry. No, I'm not buying that goddamn. I'm edition. angry. I'm angry, Gary. I can't do it. Uh, no, I might. I, I might buy the collector's edition anyway, just because. I mean, just because. Hey, well, gonna, you know, I'm gonna a win fan. that forty-five million on the community stream. <laughs> you throw some if we win the that. forty-five million, I'm gonna take. <laughs> I'm gonna take my portion of the forty-five. I'm. I am getting a portion of the forty-five million if it is forty-five million. Ten uh, right? percent. You're getting a Porsche 10%. with the forty-five million? Oh, no, 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 a portion. So I'll get this. <laughs> I'll get the collector's edition with the portion of the forty-five million dollars that I that I get. Anybody else buying it? Burns will buy it. Buy it. Hell yeah! You know I'm a <laughs> moron <laughs> when it comes to collectors. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about that pre-show about hey, another game. Hey, Anybody hey. pre-order this? Nope, nope. I did. I I feel like I should know something about it on some other shows. Which one did you get? The hundred dollar collector's edition. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Burns a collector. So, yeah, like, I don't know. Burn, get... This is the first time around the show. Like not even the Burns like a video game collector. Burn like what's the what's the yeah. most valuable game you own? I have I don't have any of the NES like world championship stuff that we we put on Game Breaker lately. That was like I that hundred thousand dollar cartridge that yeah, didn't sell. I do have oh, wow. an, uh, Air Raid or River Raid. Or it's Air Raid. It's the blue Atari cartridge with the handle on it. That goes for anywhere from about five to seven k if you sold it last time. Wow. it sold a couple years ago. How many so games I've you got? Fifteen thousand. How many games you? Have? No. No, cartridge and PC included is probably about 2,700 off to the oh, right here. Jeez. Yeah, ridiculous. Is it? I, I, just, I, 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 I had five subscriptions going at once yesterday, but then you asked me to do legendary, so now, now six, I have six, six, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, really I'll totally quickly, I want to know. Wait, about this, video, even though I won't is, be able are, to use video them games, to are they... until 6 1. Right. Screw the, screw well, the collector's be, edition. I want to know something about like real collecting for a second. Is it like really like a good investment to buy video games as a collector? No, like, is it, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> because there's like this tier of the stuff worst. that's ultra collectible. There's this tier of stuff that's very hard to get if you didn't already have it, and you're gonna pay top dollar to get it, and then you have to wait forever for it to increase in value. And God help you if these companies decide to make more money and re-release the damn thing, which happens all the time, especially with companies like Square Enix and Blizzard. So it doesn't, it doesn't there. hold They've its got value enough titles though? now. So it doesn't it's, hold its value like an original? A lot of it doesn't hold its value very well. Yeah, a lot wow. of it doesn't hold the value very well. Chrono Trigger got killed. You probably remember that game for the Super Nintendo. That cartridge box book and everything, that was worth about uh, six to 800 at one point. Then the re-release came out on the PlayStation 1. They put it on a Final Fantasy collection disc, and it just shot it down. You can get it on eBay now for about 70 80 bucks, which is still decent if you're just getting it now. It sucks if you've had it and you realize what it was worth at one time. So wow. it's not really a good long-term investment unless you can find a collector to offload everything to, and they know exactly the value of everything. Then you'll probably get fair market. Other than that, and you actually correct me if I'm wrong. Is that is that game that your mo your uh, most valuable game? Is that one that you found at like a garage sale? Yeah, I found that one at a garage sale. I don't. It was either a garage or an estate. It was one of those. You know, I search Craigslist and stuff like that, and I'll go to somebody's estate. Did you know sale instantly, like morning. seeing it with the handle? Did you know exactly what it was worth as soon as? Oh you yeah, saw it? as soon as as soon as I saw it, you know, it's the only Atari cartridge that has that that plastic mold casing. As soon as you saw it, you're like, oh yeah. I, Look, this thing, this thing is oh, uh, it's plastic. $20, I'll give you it's $50 cents for, for it. the whole thing. Let's <laughs> uh, right. push it. It's a little All right, steep. I'll take all of it. I, how about 15 <laughs> though? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that was uh, an estate sale of somebody that I, I didn't know, but it was like a friend of a friend of a friend. And so I did say, hey, look, that's worth a, a bit more than you're asking. I'll pay you 100 and I'll take the whole set. So, you know. I, I have no intention of selling it, so I'm never going to make that profit, but at least I didn't say, I'll give you three bucks and leave. Wow. 
All right, so kids, don't uh, collect video games. It's a waste of your time and money. So it's barely useful to be playing them. Definitely don't collect them. So um, <laughs> anybody else buying the collector's edition? You guys, are you guys fans of the, the Blizzard collector's editions? It's always the standard. Like, you know what you're getting. They never change it. Mm-hmm. Right, and and I, I've been kind of in and out of collector's edition stuff um, with WoW, and... But I've never been disappointed by it. I mean, it's always been it's always been good stuff. So, I I enjoy it. Yes. I don't know. I think I, I used to always I used to always be the person who would buy like the Final Fantasy like collector's edition books. No, don't you throw that collector's edition box at me. I'm not in the studio anymore. Is he grabbing all the boxes now? All the he boxes. Probably is. Yeah, he's, oh. there's a bunch that he's got in the back room. I think yeah. that um, you know, I, I bought a lot of them back in the day, and I have, I still have a box of all these collector's edition like guides and um, art books that I haven't done anything with. And as soon as I realized I wasn't really the collector type, that's when I kind of told myself, "Yeah, I don't think I'm going to buy any collector's editions." Ever. Yeah, yeah. I just buy the digital stuff now, so I mean, it's not the it's not the hard copy stuff. I I buy the yeah, digital. I mean, I, that's For me, the opposite, it's... man. I'm such a collector's edition baby. It's not even funny. Right. To me, all the... the top. T- how? Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna call burnout now. How many collector's editions of Final Fantasy 14 do you do you have? And uh, with Son with the, with the purchase that you pre-ordered. <laughs> uh, counting Just the one... one that's on pre-order and not released yet. Yeah. One, two, three. That'll be four. He has four collector's editions wow. of the same game. It's not the same game. It's on different systems. <laughs> it's the same game, four different systems. Don't, see, I, I, just, I don't get it. No, because here's the thing. I don't, I don't get it. Like, collector's edition. I'm trying and to and get again, Gary Gannon to sell me his Warhammer one, and that game's closed. <laughs> he does. He wants to buy my Warhammer. <laughs> Burn, how much would you pay for this one? Signed mm, by every developer. See, now, those, yes. I would love those, one that's of those. Cool. I don't have any Blizz autograph stuff. I do have Square Enix autograph stuff. And why, hello, how are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> look at Burnsy. <laughs> um, I nice. do have a Square Enix autograph stuff. I'd love to get that, Gary. So guess what? Give that over. I still have two of them. I got one to still give away. We've had these forever. What? I've got one. I've got oh. one more to still. I've been hanging on to it because people like they sent out the boxes and a bunch of people like streamers and stuff got stuff. So we gave one away, and I was like, I don't want everybody was all hyped up because there's multiple like people giving shit away, and I was like, I'm gonna hold on to it and give it away, but nobody's got any left to give away. I still, got, I think I got that might be to... now, Gary. I think thinking, that might be now. Well, yeah, I'm thinking for like you know some sort yeah. of uh, maybe for the Warlords uh, launch party we do or something like a midnight oh, sure. launch party on Legendary. Maybe we do like cool. a nice giveaway somehow with uh, with disc. So we got another one signed That'd by. Cool. I, don't, yeah. I don't know if it's every dev, but most of them are on here. Let's. Is Ghost Crawlers on there? You might want to just I don't cross know. his I've name never really off. Looked. <laughs> just, that's actually sure, yeah. that's actually really funny because um there was, we had a Game Breaker fan come to BlizzCon and he brought his uh his collector's edition of Mr. Pandaria and asked for all of Game Breaker people to sign yep. it. Um but then there's also one Greg Street signature on there because he was at the party uh, of ours with BlizzCon. So I got Greg to sign it as well. So it's Game Breaker and Greg Street. Nice. King of the Beat. King of the Beat. I'm just going to write at Riot after it now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so beyond that, so also what came out, there's also the uh, the buy a 90 UI um, on the PTR. Have you guys had a chance to look at this yet? Uh, just the art that um, that we saw on uh, the various, on, on the Warcraft site. And, and it looks it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty easy. Uh, again, the Blizz store is nothing but easy, so this is just as easy, it seems like. So it's, it's uh, yeah, it gives you the steps right there. Step one, here's what you do. <laughs> Step two, go. Be free, you're a new 90 now. Step three, give us money. Well, step one, is so important. No, step, step one is give us money. Yeah, that's, Gary, let's, <laughs> right, that's first. <laughs> right. We've got to pay this these stupid streamers. <laughs> this whole process that I think that they're doing with uh, all of the the integration to the shop and the different icons and the different features and the pet shop it's it's pivotal um, for them to to maximize the amount that they're gonna get out of all this. I mean I can't I, I can't imagine how much more they would have if if it was just this easy 
back in WoW's peak. I think that a lot of people, you know, didn't necessarily go to the lengths of going to the website to buy the thing on the store to then get it into their account as much as they could have if the store was so easily accessible here. So I think that I think that it's it's the it's the proper way to do it because when you're in the game, you don't want to leave the game. You want something spur of the moment. You're much more apt to pull your credit card out and just do it because it's there rather than going through a whole secondary process. So I think it's it's right. they're they're on the right track here. It's like when you're online and you're just like at that last second of checking out, you're just like, click, done, so easy. Um, the veteran bonus is kind of interesting. Do you guys check this out? So the free max level, it maxes yeah. out uh, free uh, your professions uh, if you're boosting a level 60 character. So if you got a 60, boom, max level uh, professions. I don't know. What do you, you guys think that's a, that's a good addition? I, I think that's awesome, actually. I think that's really awesome because the first 60 levels, let's face it, they go by really, really quick. So I think that anybody who's leveling up uh, wants to level up a new tune, they're going to take a look at this and say, you mean I don't have to work on professions all the way up to 90? I can just get uh, 600, you know, level 600 professions like as soon as I hit 90. That's incredible. That's awesome. I can't believe it. I'm going to go through and I'm going to do that 1 through 60 content, get up to 60, and then, you know, just boost myself up to 90. That's when I'm going to do it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to just, you know, constantly buy 90s and then have to do all the work to get um all my all my professions worked on as well because that that that's a lot of time and a lot of gold that that you spend in game uh just trying to trying to make everything to get to that 600 level for all your professions so that's that's great that they're doing that i like that that's a nice I, touch so can i, I ask a few that. questions on this one uh i don't know if sure. anybody knows yet but let's say you don't have uh all the professions selected or the secondary professions selected? Can you jump in, pick them up real quick, get them at level one, and will it max them out uh, when you go and pay for this later? It's a plus 600. So okay. the, the, the screenshot says uh, plus 600 uh, to your, or I'm sorry, a 600 profession level. So it is for your main professions. I think it's also for secondary. I'm not 100% on that. Um, but, but I think you have to have them before you instigate the purchase. Before, correct. Right. So if I don't have them, I can jump in, grab them because first aid is on there. Uh, so you, that stands yeah. that maybe, you know, right. fishing and all that would be on there too. So can I jump into game, grab them, then jump out of game and do my purchase and <laughs> get those things I never even picked up? Cause that's pretty cool. Second question though would be, yes, I kind of like this for the same reasons that you were talking about, Pat, but what does it do? Does it impact the economy of the game at all? If everybody's going to get one and then has the option to buy these later, does that negate a big portion of the leveling economy? I thought Bird was going to be like, but people exist. won't know how to do their professions then. They won't know how to pick flowers. <laughs> they don't and know don't how to deal crap out of a menu. <laughs> and I don't want to deal with those people. They need to learn. Oh, God. I mean, I oh. want to say, I want to say, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest profession farmer or auction house whore. Um, but I, I would say the – yeah, I, I, went, I went there and I said it. Wow. Um, uh, 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 um, I don't think that there's a, a massive economy for leveling professions. I think that they do exist. People do buy them for the bulk so that they don't have to worry about it. But it's nowhere near what brings in the gold for the gold farmers that they do at max level. So um, I think really the, the economy there – uh, isn't going to be in flux because it's it's never really that big of a deal. Yeah, it may affect it a little bit, but I wouldn't think that it would be a, a, a huge impact on it. Um, maybe some of the later mats uh, where you need to actually go to, you know, where it actually starts costing real gold. Um, you know, that would be one thing to kind of look out for, but I, I don't think it's going to be that big of an impact. Does really? it do anything for the riding skill? Do we know, or are we going to still have to pay for that? I mean, because there's no clue on the UI for that one. I would hope that the riding skill would be included. So, hey, I'm buying I, a 90. Give me some no, damn give me, No, they should give you, they should give you, ma I guess, okay, here's the thing. They should give you the, the, the slowest flying speed and the sure. flying speeds to let you fly in North Rand, um, the Cataclysm areas and the Mystic Pandaria areas. That's it. You don't get the you don't get the two seventy or the three ten. Those you have to still go out and purchase. I would hope. What my money's no good here now. Now no, your money's no good. My, here. my money's no good. Okay, your great. Your Thanks money a lot. No good. 
So the so we've got the collector's edition mounts. They're on the uh, on the patch five four seven PTR, and the boosts are too. The pre purchase yeah. has to be coming soon, right? I yeah. mean, we got to be really close. Are you think you think we're gonna you get think? the uh, you think we're gonna get the buy a ninety as well? Yeah, I think that um, we're looking probably in the next oh, let's say in February sometime. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, because the sooner that they move on this, the, the sooner we'll be seeing beta, the sooner we'll be seeing the, the you know, Warlords of Draenor come out, all that kind of fun stuff. And, and so I'm, I'm hoping that they move on this pretty soon. Have they said that people who pre-purchase get priority beta, beta access yet at all? Or is that... They, they haven't beta. talked about beta, really, as far as I know. So, no. I, would, I, could, I could see them even coming. I think that would really help sell um, pre-sale units fast is i think that much like with the annual pass although there's definitely going to be a problem because there's a lot of people who signed up for the annual pass and were some of the last waves to get in and were really frustrated about it um but i could almost see them saying if you pre-purchase the game there will be a certain threshold down the beta where we will open up the beta to people who have pre-purchased and i think that would be a really good way to sell uh, uh copies because otherwise i think a lot of people might might hold off Unless they want them out, but I, to me, it's I, if, if I really want them out, I can wait. Did you guys all notice? Uh, going back to collector's edition real quick. That this week another AAA MMORPG launching this year announced their collector's edition. I think that's the one that Mike got. And do you <laughs> know how to... that? <laughs> I already, but did you realize? I but did you realize? No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but did you realize that on the exact same day, Blizzard dropped the Diablo 3 Collector's Edition? Conspiracy have, theory? I think not. They have never done this before, Gary. This is the first never. time for them that they have ever tried to go head to head with anybody over anything. I just picture At like all. somebody. I just picture somebody working at Blizzard with like their hand on a mouse, and they're just like, "You're paid to sit there for refresh, eight, refresh. ten hours a day." <laughs> and when just, word it's comes just in, just on Amazon, they just sit there, refresh, looking for the competition. When it comes in, refresh, refresh, hit the refresh, button. Refresh, refresh. Picture gone. Button. Yes. F five. Just F five. It was like within an, within within forty five minutes or an hour. It was like, oh, and we have a collector's edition too. By the way, yes. Trying to steal somebody's thunder. Right. You. Uh, also, data mining. There's been mm -hmm. some uh, off the PTR. There's been some data mining off the PTR with uh, some changes to the battle.net desktop client. Uh, you might not be surprised to hear that the most interesting thing is desktop out of game chat. We've been saying yeah. this uh, since like the desktop client first appeared that there would be probably be chat. Um, I don't know. I don't think this is any surprise. I'm actually surprised it hasn't been in already. Right. And that, that's what I said when it first released was uh, I was like, Where's why don't chat? they have chat? It's like, it's like perfect for chat out of game chat. That would be awesome. I hope they build it into the system. And now they have, it's all because I said it. I'm sure it was just me. Do you find <laughs> Pat running like a huge guild like you do? Do you find this is going to be really useful? Uh, it depends on how, uh, on how it works really because i don't know if it's going to work like the like the app like you know you can chat to the to the guild and stuff like that because if that happens then my guild is kind of screwed because we have like eight different co-guilds so we're huge i mean we have like all these different co-guilds and and only several you know only one guild will be able to see it essentially so it depends on how it works and and how it's it's broken down and stuff like that hopefully they have a guild chat op option as well i think that would be fantastic um and, uh, yeah, I mean, at least you'll be able to contact your friends and, and see what's going on, see if they're, you know, doing anything fun. And, and if you want to jump in, great. What do you guys think, Burn? You get, would you get a lot of use out of something like this? Well, I mean, I don't want to, like, go up against Pat here with, like, a lot of people <laughs> and eight, eight guilds, but I've got at least, at least a dozen friends that I would talk to. Via the, I mean, that's 12, so that beats eight, right? That's yeah. better, right? Absolutely. So if he says so, people. guys, so guys, basically, if he says twelve, he means three. Like it was really. <laughs> well, that would if I talk to you, Gary, would you one, talk to me? One, two, three. 
He has he has three friends on four different systems, yeah. so he has to. <laughs> you dick. <did. laughs> Touche. So maybe they, maybe this, this is great. This is great. You guys have talked about this forever. I've watched Legendary forever. You have talked about this feature forever, and yeah, it definitely needs to be put in here. It's a great little thing. It, it, I don't know how much it actually adds. Yeah, unless you really know people outside, you're probably not going to use it that much. But for large guilds, okay, fine. Have fun. I don't know if I would use it all that much. I got to say, and I, I, cue the Debbie Downer card because I, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't see myself. I, I think it's great. It's great functionality to have. But I don't find myself ever sitting on my computer with the launcher open. Now, I think it's great because it allows cross-game functionality. But once you're in any of the games... You can talk across Battle.net. I've, I honest, honest to God, chat room, you guys, t tell me, have any of you just sat with the launcher open no, no, for no, no, no wait, reason? Because I, I, what I, what I, I how do. I see this working, but how I see this working is that if you're, if, if you, most people who like Blizzard games usually play more than one game, and what, yeah. what I'm thinking, especially with Hearthstone and things like that, you're gonna like launch the launcher, and then you're gonna wonder really quickly and find out before you even launch a game, hey, who's playing what? What are you guys doing? Are you in Hearthstone? But are you, you could already Warcraft? see, you could already see. There were already friends lists within the launcher to see who was on what category. Sure. The only problem was you just couldn't talk to them. Yeah, so but maybe you'd be like, hey, what are you guys like, doing? Hey, what are you doing? Like, hey, we're in the middle of a raid, so we're not going to be done for like two hours. Okay, well, I can't hang with those guys. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's I guess, what I yeah. thought it would be. Or, or you know, you see a buddy in Hearthstone, you can say, before you pop it open, you can say, hey, you want to, you know, do some head to head action Whoa, in, hey. in Hearthstone? Hey, you know. Hey, now. <laughs> hey, uh, no, but, but, you know, just, just, you want it you want to play and, and if they say no then you don't have to launch the actual game and take you know the minute or two to load it up and do whatever you need to do to get going but so do you think here's, so here's the next dear thing. So friend of a time. friend i am looking for some head-on action <laughs> would you like to participate signed but Pat wait Crane. no no because no, <laughs> uh, burn you just you that was just head like, to head <laughs> sword fight um, <laughs> yeah. Burn, you just hit on something though, and, I'm, and this 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 opens up a whole other question: is like, is there is there a lot a much bigger play here with the launcher and a lot, and this ties into a lot of things we're not even seeing because there's also going to be the option to add friends of friends. That's totally something new too, which is getting even yeah. like closer to things like Facebook and LinkedIn and stuff like that, where you can sort of see the levels of separation. Um, one word or no, you are going to be able to turn that off. We have parental controls, so parents, be good. Turn that off for your kids, so creepy guys like Burn are right. friending your children. Um, but <laughs> Who is Pat Crane? Oh. I am blocking oh. this. I am blocking this head-to-head <laughs> -head action. Get away from the computer, Sonny. <laughs> But but really no. Do you think do you think that this could be a longer term play and like how you're questioning it, Chaff? Like that you know you're saying, I don't see myself sitting there with the the Blizzard launcher open. If they started adding more and more functionality to it, and it became kind of like your social network, you might keep it open during the day. Right. And you're and you're right there. I d I did forget about the fact they talked about bringing try. I think they talked about trying to bring forums in and news posts. They were trying to. I you're right. You're, I completely forgot about the fact that they were trying to make this almost like a user experience to launch to find all of you the the one stop shop for your central Blizzard news. And and with that, yes, I think there's a lot of functionality for adding. Well, maybe the they chat should have a dating feature. I'm watching chat room. Yeah. And they said it's like oh, battleharmony.net, baby. Oh <laughs> no, oh no. Mm -mm. We'll set you up with a great date in Goldshire. Yes, but it... human paladin <laughs> looking for big orc warlock. <laughs> mm. Also, for please some her head son. on head action. Also plays Hearthstone, a little bit of StarCraft, fuck Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd probably be huge. It would probably be huge. Mm -hmm. Pat, you were going to say something. Uh, I, I don't know what it is now. I, I <laughs> Burn just totally ruined everything. <laughs> He's like, I could find some ladies. Thanks for... <laughs> <laughs> just watch out for them blood elves, uh -oh. man. You never know till it's too late. That's true. You don't know if they're a chick or a dude. You don't. Exactly. I, the, the rule of thumb is if they're a chick in game, they're a dude in real life. <laughs> is that the rule? That's the rule. <laughs> that's that's the rule of thumb. 
Jeff, it sounded bitter and like learned well, from experience <laughs> there. He was like, it's, I'm just telling you guys. The I'm rule. just telling you guys. This is how guys, I've been before. down this road. Take I've been. It. <laughs> it's not girl, it's G I R L, guy in real life. That's I've been blood fished. It's not catfish, it's blood fished. <laughs> it happened to a friend. I'm just telling you guys about it. <laughs> <laughs> They're making a documentary about me. It'll be out in 2018. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> it's called I'm Second move... Skin 2. Oh, <laughs> remember that? Oh. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys have not checked out Audible, 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 now is your chance. I want to hook you guys up with a free 30-day trial and a free audio book. That's right. Just by using the URL, audible.com slash gamebreaker. Always, always excited to have Audible on as a sponsor here to make this show and many others at gamebreaker.tv possible. And supporting Gamebreaker makes this show possible. So go over to audible.com slash gamebreaker, sign up, make an account, download the app, put it on your Android or iOS device. And go check out what they've got. They've got a ton of World of Warcraft books, Dawn of the Aspects, the Vulgen book, a bunch of them. Check them out. There's a bunch of World of Warcraft books, plus a lot of other sci-fi, great fantasy stuff on here. Tons of stuff you're going to want to check out. It's new Star Wars books on there. One actually just dropped. is a new, um, brand new Star Wars book that dropped, I believe, 48 hours ago. They talked about that on the Republic. So, but uh, And those Star much, Wars books are cool. Those things yes. are cool, man. They have full sound effects and everything, right? Oh, full sound effects and like you know, just a- ambiance and just like, everything. Yeah, yeah. But if you guys haven't checked out the World of Warcraft books, here's a chance to check out. There's four of them on there, or five of them actually, five of them. So, one of these could be yours, absolutely free, just by using the URL audible.com/gamebreaker. Just go, like I said, go on over and by supporting Audible, you're supporting Gamebreaker. So go, 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 go. Check it out. Uh, once you check it out, they know you're gonna love it. I've been a subscriber to Audible for many, many years. I absolutely love this service. I don't read at all anymore. I listen. I don't have time to read. I just don't. I have time to listen. In my car, at night, sometimes here at the studio when I'm working late, I just kind of like throw it on and just like start, I don't want, you know, it's winding down, finishing up the night and uh, don't want to listen to music. Just throw on the old Audible and start listening to something. So check it out. Awesome, awesome service. Love, uh, love the Audible. All right, so next up, uh, there's been some several gear changes on the PTR. So first up, weapons on the Timeless Isle have been upgraded. Uh, from item level 476 to 489. And if you already have the weapons, uh, those will be upgraded as well. About time on this. Um, they're still they're still lower than the rest of the gear at 496, right? Why are they still lower? I was actually wondering that myself, Gary. Maybe somebody can enlighten me. I don't know. I I don't understand exactly why that why that would need to be. Uh, do you the think case. they should? Do you think they should be 496? I. I think that they should be. I mean, definitely four four seventy whatever it was. Uh, that's a that's way too low. I mean, we're talking about trying to get people into. As far as how I see it from a PVE standpoint, we're looking at trying to get people into the next raid, right? So, or at least into the into the previous one. And I think, you know, it's it's not bad. It's not a bad place to be, but it's also not great. It puts you at a, at kind of a disadvantage uh, when you're when you're gearing up a new alt or, or whatever, you have to go and you have to run some more stuff so that you can gear up for a Siege of Orgrimmar because you, you obviously won't have it. So Why is it, why is it so know. hard to get new weapons? Or get, why is it so hard to get weapons? Because they don't drop for you ever, even when you I gotta, lose a bonus roll on the damn thing. Yeah, <laughs> I got to say, I've been, I've been on, the, on the prowl for a weapon myself for an extended period of time, and it just seems like they're, they're, they're not coming. Yeah, yeah. I finally got an offhand the other night. I was like, I was lifting it to the heavens. Oh! It, was, it was amazing. It was a glorious evening. <laughs> yes, it was. it was. There's also new uh, Seasons PvP gear, which Holinka confirmed uh, is item level 550 uh, for Conquest Point gear. So likely, I guess, item level 522 for honor gear. Um, first up, with how easy it is to get honor, I mean, will anybody be farming the Timeless Isle at all and getting these upgraded weapons? Is it even worth it? Uh, yes. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's not that people... I, I think there are two different camps here. And, Mike, you can probably attest to this. There are those PvE guys that only want to do PV, PvE, and we've seen... Uh, some stuff on the forums come out lately where 
Uh, people have been irritated by having to do PvP or getting, you know, getting uh, uh, changed over to PvP mode uh, without their consent necessarily. And so they're working on that stuff as well. So, yes, there are PvE guys that are always going to want to do this stuff. Uh, however, if you really want to get a, a decent weapon and with a higher item level, uh, then PvP is going to be the way to go for sure. For sure. Mike, what do you think about uh, that? Stuff? I mean, I, it's, it's, I, I think that it's, that alone will, will cause a lot of problems, I think. Um, I don't. I don't have I don't have a problem with it because for me I think back to the days of what this used to be. I remember the paladin, the very first paladin that I got to level sixty. Uh, what did I do? Every single one of my friends said, hey, "Go start running AV because you're going to need the unstoppable force." I'm okay with it because that's how I learned. Like it just it didn't matter if I got to go PvP to get my weapons, so be it. The game has has developed and changed and become a little bit more segregated. Uh, I think this is ultimately a a little bit of a problem. When you think about the fact of if they're trying to provide two experiences, they need they need to make the problem is is they can't make the drop rates on these weapons better and more accessible because then people everyone will stray over the, to to that. Whereas if you have a difficult to drop item that's on par with an item that you can earn majority of the players that I think would be reasonable are going to go the path of going into the PvP. Because you could be out farming for weapons in, in drops or, or timeless aisles. You could be taking a random chance for weeks, for months, but at least if you went into battlegrounds, you could sit, you know, it's calculated. You know right. you're getting X amount of honor per match. You know that it's going to take you X amount of matches. Each match takes X amount of time. You know you're working towards your item, and that is going to become the default. <laughs> well, and I and I think that you know there's there's something to that for sure because um, when when you take a look at they've they've been trying to entice people into PvP for a while, uh, and it seems like this entire expansion has been kind of this love hate relationship with PvP. Uh, a lot of people. Uh, Olivia included. I mean, some of the some of the things that have been going on, they've been changing PvP like every other patch. It seems like uh, to a certain extent, and so I think they're trying to get people to play more PvP, and this is one way to do it. Uh, it's one way to say, you know what? Hey, you can just jump in, do some battlegrounds with with your friends, check it out, see if you like it, and if you do, guess what? You get this lovely weapon at the end of it. That's awesome. That's pretty good. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Cuz I hate PVP. I am it's, I'm terrible at PVP. I don't want to do it. I don't want to be forced to do it. I don't want it to be the I I need to do 15 hours of PVE stuff which I actually enjoy, but now I'm doing 15 hours of it versus one and a half hours of PVP stuff just because that's what how they want me to play. I don't like this at all. Well, and it's it's, but you can still get stuff. It's just it's not going to be as high of an item level, and you can still. Here's what you can do: you can go through on or PvE. anywhere near the drop rate. Right. You well, you can go through PVE mode, and you can do Throne of Thunder rating, uh, to get all of that gear, and then that way you're doing content that you like and getting that item level 522 gear, uh, on normal mode. So you can still get that gear through PVE. It's just it's gonna it's a little bit different path and it's not quite as direct as uh, with PvP. So that's the thing. Yeah, well, I mean, especially because let's say you one item. I, I forget. I think it was. I don't remember where the staff came from for me in, in Throne of Thunder. But at most, you get two chances. You get your your roll for killing, and then you get your bonus roll. Two chances right. a week. That's it. Whereas. And again, I, I, it is it is different stories for different folks, and I I agree with you, Burn. I why you don't like it, and that's that's ultimately the problem they've caused. But I think that the more sensible person, the the raids that I've been a part of, when you when you're sitting there, and be like, oh man, I don't have a weapon. And your raid leader's like, well, why don't you have a weapon? I'm like, well, because it hasn't dropped for me yet. I'm like, why are you waiting for a drop? Because like, Blitz PvP, sucks. PvP, that's why. PvP. Go, why don't go I have PvP a weapon? for a weekend. That's what they're gonna say, and and it and it does. It's gonna it's gonna force you to do something that you don't want to do, um, because because that's that's gonna be the easiest route. It's calculated, and and you, right. and you can you can figure it out. And that's the other. I mean, that's the other benefit to to trying to gear through PvP, even though it doesn't translate as well over into raids. 
you know, with, with, you can, you can structure the item process. Okay. I've got to earn X amount because my weakest item is my, my chest and I need to replace my chest piece. Chest piece isn't dropping in raids. So it's just, it's, it's kind of a structure problem. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the real answer to it here, but, um, it, it it's 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 been a back and forth now for for a very long time. Well, and the and the other thing, just one other thing, just with PVE content, uh, if you have a new ninety, and uh, I think the thought process is that you're gonna need to go run old content anyway because you want to get your cloak for your guys. So you're gonna be running old content anyway. So who really cares in the long run? Because you'll you'll end up getting that stuff eventually, right? Something like that. Yes. You cued the look. Pat Crane had the I know. look. I know. Is he just kind of like? Uh, I know. David, so how do you do it? <laughs> All right. Last of this week, you got this uh, pretty interesting infographic that uh, the Blizzards put out. Um, oh, I want to tell you guys about two quick things, really quick, before we move on to that. Um, we have two new shows here at Game Breaker. Uh, one is called This Week in Steam with Kat Andresco. You should check it out. Go to the front page. Click you here. Bring you right to the page of a bunch of episodes. We're on like episode three, so it's a pretty new show. Uh, we cover the latest and greatest games on Steam each and every week. Uh, right now, the show's coming out, I believe, on Mondays, but I think we might up that to Fridays, but not this week. So new episode coming up on Monday, but there's three episodes. Go check it out, This Week in Steam. And if you haven't already checked it out, we have a new show called Game Breaker, the show. With myself, Pat yeah. Payne. And uh, the Cold Train joins us, and we actually do it live right after Legendary, so come on over for that. That's a really fun show where we talk about the top news stories on Game Breaker of the Week. So all kinds of random stuff and shenanigans goes on, and who knows, Cold Train just goes up the rails. And... De definitely shenanigans. I There's will say that. Shenanigans. Yeah, so <laughs> There's a lot of out. shenanigans. Check it out. It's other shows it's called Game Breaker. Pretty easy to remember. All right, so there's this infographic that World of Warcraft, uh, that the Blizzard put out. A lot of interesting stuff in here. For example, I mean, were you guys surprised um, that there are twice the daily trades on the World of Warcraft auction house than there are on eBay? There's a bunch of like really cool information on here. I that's that's one of them. Sure, I mean, just the just you know, hundred million lifetime players, hundred million. 100 that's million. cool. That was that, that was the one where they compared it to being the size of three countries, correct, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, yep. Germany, Belarus, and Sweden. And they said if it was a country, wouldn't it be like number like 47 or 43? I forget. Um, it would be very large. Yes, yes. It's pretty crazy. But they kind of break it all down, and they give you a bunch of, a bunch of information about World of Warcraft, and, and it's like the rarest mount, the the most you know unique pets and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. What about the P? Did you see the PVP and PVE instances one? I'm looking for it here. Nine hundred thousand PVE instances and six hundred and seventy thousand PVP. Here it is. Yeah, it's crazy. every day in Azeroth. There are nine hundred thousand PVE instances and six hundred and seventy thousand PVP instances. That's crazy. Crazy. Every three point six million pet battles. Yeah, you think pet battles is a success? Wow, they kind of did yeah. well with that one, didn't they? That's every day. It's crazy. I actually have a buddy who just uh, got back into WoW after a while. He was a hardcore player for a really long time, and it was funny. Like he hadn't he hadn't jumped in. He hadn't played. He didn't play any of MOP. I think he quit right before MOP. We were at dinner the other night, and he was like, "I jumped back in." And he's like, "Damn them pet battles." out of all the things fun. i didn't expect it to be like he's like i'm so addicted to the pet battles they're so much fun they're great 3.6 yep. million of them every single day so i guess they're quite successful they're, well they're super accessible and and there's no risk you don't you won't uh you know hurt your armor at all by joining a pet battle so yeah go for it there's 2.8 million daily trades in the auction house twice the amount of ebay on cyber monday in 2009 Jeez. Yeah, so not only eBay, but eBay's busiest, arguably busiest right. day of the fiscal year. So many like crazy things in here. 619 like unique pets. Burns got every one. <laughs> not yet. I resubbed, though, so I will. I like just, the, for the the just for the show. 
you just yes. resub for the show, right? And then after the show, you're gonna you're gonna cancel again. You're gonna just yeah, say, well, oh, yeah, no. yeah, probably just. <laughs> yeah. Did you all I, I got this, caught up. I, mean, I got did you caught really up. There's the 504 show. unique mounts. Yeah, there's a ton, man. They really open it up. Especially, They've ramped it up lately. Especially after Wrath, I think they they just just but turn it up. Five hundred and four. Like, did you really? Yeah. Did would you have? If I were be honest, if I would have asked you that question before you saw this, what kind of a number would you have thrown out? I probably know that. No, I probably would have thrown out about three three fifty or something like that, but not five hundred. That's for sure. Four. I love the infographics. It's cool. Oh, words compared to all Lord of the Rings. Well, you don't, as as you said, you don't read X. very well, so you like pictures. Here you go. See, exactly. This is why I'm fascinated by it. I don't want to read. Just, can somebody read this to me? <laughs> we'll get Coltrane on that. 100,000 pages of content on the wiki. Yeah, that's it crazy. It would take 44 <laughs> CDs to hold all the music and sound effects in WoW. Lots of cool stuff. 500 million <laughs> At any given moment, there's 2.2 million mounts sitting on mailboxes. Unbelievable. <laughs> and 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 that one dickhead who's sitting on the biggest one <laughs> taking it all up. That That's would right. be Darnell. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the magic man himself, Mr. Mike Byrne. Follow him on Twitter at Magic Man M I G I C K M A N N One. It's been fun, Beta, Shaman. I fulfilled <laughs> what I needed covered, to do. You covered your bases. I'm, you filled in for Olivia I now. You really filled in. There you, there you go. You can also <laughs> check out Mike Bird on This Week in MMO. We do that show live on Fridays at 3. And some other shows here on the Game Breaker TV with more in the very near future. So, always a pleasure. Mr. Mike Shafnit. Follow him on Twitter at Mike Shafnit. Make sure to go over to his YouTube page, Lol Nation TV to check out League of Legends Waypoint, the number one League of Legends show on the YouTubes. Check it out. It's a great, great, great show. And Pat Crane, follow him on Twitter at Pat Crane and go over to ConvertToRay.com and come to the live show, which is airs uh, Sunday mornings at 9 Pacific right here on Game Breaker TV's Twitch channel. Yep. Yep. Hey, and Gary, make sure to throw that link out a little bit more. For, oh, uh... I already got it saved, brother. <laughs> I already got it ready. As soon as the show's over, da 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 We'll put the link. Make sure you go vote for us. Vote, vote, vote. Let's get That's some right. votes in there. That's right. We got to win this. Pat Crane needs a Bugatti. <laughs> Have a great week. We'll see you next week for more legendary.